Hey, hey. it's Come Scotch on. Test Dummies. Yep. We got a wild turkey single barrel. <laughs> We're going to test it. Gobble gobble style. All right, we got a wild turkey. Wild turkey, Kentucky spirit, single barrel. Love it. We haven't had a wild turkey in a while. Did you look to see you know what the proof is on this? I did not look at the proof. 101. <whistles> wild turkey, 101. Done. Kentucky spirit. I like the clean look of the bottle, actually. I mean, it's got a really nice look to it. So as far as I know, this is a new release. Um, I saw it at Total down in Dallas. Picked it up uh, along with a few other bottles. Mm-hmm. I thought a wild turkey, single barrel, can't go wrong. True. They do know what they're doing. Let's see, uh, from barrel 0455, bottled on 114 of 19. Wow. Rick number seven. I like all that. So, Warehouse A. So after I bought this in Dallas, though, I did just see this the other day across town at, at a liquor store. Really? For the, for the first time here. Okay. So this isn't a store pick. It's not like a you know total pick this one out or anything. Mm -hmm. So I think it's kind of a standard release, uh, available anywhere. Wild Turkey, Kentucky Spirit, single barrel. Wow. 101 three. Oh, 302. Mm -hmm. Bourbon notes, cinnamon. Bart went right into the taste. <laughs> we skipped the nose now. I know. <laughs> I will tell you, it had a very wild oak. turkey nose, yeah. Yeah, oak, cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Tons of cinnamon on the uh, on the palate. Tons of cinnamon. Nice ABV coming through it's on like the It's like those hard red cinnamon candies. Red hots? Nope, not the red hots. The actual one is closer to like looking like a Brock's butterscotch, but it's the red mm. one. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was good. Mm. Corn, I got corn right off the bat. Um, oak, ooh, a little bit of char. Nice palette up front. Creamy, vanillas. Yeah. Caramels, good bourbon notes. For me, a little stronger oak influence than I like. There, yeah. There's quite a bit of oak if in there. If you that. like the oak, well, this is up your alley. I don't think it's over oaked and I don't think it's that old. I don't think this is more than nine or ten years old. It doesn't no, say there's no non there's no statement sure. on it. No, I'm not saying it's over oaked at all. Oh, okay. I'm just saying it's it's got a strong oak forwardness. Yeah. Um I don't like the oak as much as others. Some like it way more than I do. So mm. creams on the nose. Huh. Very nice palette though. Rich, full, yeah. nice ABV. It feels like a little bit higher ABV. Eight, nine, ten year old, somewhere in there. Now here's the only problem I have with it. It's got a quick finish. It's gone pretty quick. Yeah, the oak doesn't which, linger. Which makes me think it's, a, that's why I think it's a little bit younger. Hmm. You, usually, if you get the age in there, it's going to hang around on the palate. Those tan, wood tannins are going to stick on in there and let you know it. This one, it's, it's a great palate up front, great mid palate, hmm. and then it's gone. See, I've never associated a long palate with age. It's uh, it can be sure, it can be a sure, good indicator. Sure. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. A lot of bourbons don't have a long finish hmm. for me, though. The long finishes I usually get in scotches, and of course, with the peat, you get those real long. But we've had others that are. But the, probably the average bourbon we have is probably seven, eight years old. They're not. We don't have real old bourbons. Sure. But when you go into those, I've got you know the, the red, a couple of the rhetorics at home uh, wow. from Orphan Barrel, sure. 22, 23 years old. Wow. Um, I do us think as you brag us. Well, no, but I'm just saying. I'm just teasing. I'm, so I'm trying to think of something else you've had that's older. Um, even the okay, last year's stag. 
BTAC Stag is, uh, I want to say, good. 15 years old, but it was really oak forward. Yeah. And that one hangs in there and goes. I think as you get into the older age bourbons, you're going to see that on your palate. It's going to hang in there and stay. That's why I think this one is younger. Okay. That's why I think this one is younger. It just doesn't have that long last. It's good. Right. It's rich. It's full. I'll get you. There's no, it kind of drops off at, right at the tail there. It yeah. just goes. Yeah. Going. Yep. Mm. We get hints of wood still. Mm hmm touch of vanilla there you go i mean it's it's nice bourbon nice bourbon notes nice younger bourbon notes by younger eight nine years maybe i'd like to see this at a 12 year wild turkey single kentucky spirit single barrel 12 year to match what Elijah Come Craig. On. There you go. Yeah, well, I thought you were going to leave me hanging. Well, I wasn't sure. I'm thinking to match. I thought you were going to say something else, and then I'm thinking, what was he thinking? I was I like, well, come on, gonna... there's no way you don't know what I'm talking about here. I, I mean, Elijah Craig is very good. <laughs> I, I like the Elijah Craig. I, I kind of go He's to He's looking it. at me like a cat that you got woke up from a nap. Well, I thought you were going to finish your own sentence. Up. First of all, you're really going out without a net when you like do a little handoff. You know, the 12, like the, and then you, and I'm like, oh, you want you're me always, to jump you're, in You're always interrupting me. No, like all of a sudden you decide not to interrupt me. Well, I didn't know where you were going. <laughs> all of a sudden, I don't want to interrupt him. Yeah, going somewhere. You're, you're, you're on a roll, you had a point, and, and you laid an egg right there, and I'm thinking, oh, you want me to pick this up? <laughs> Because if I picked it up, you'd be like, I wasn't done. I wasn't done. Hold on. Why are you interrupting? What me? are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Forgot what you 89, 89, maybe a 90. Oh, no. I've been stuck on the same number for a while. Not a while. I think two reviews in a row. This one leaves me, I'm going to tell you, I, you know I got some 101 over here. 89. 88 is what I'm saying. We've got some 101, I got some 81 over here. And uh, although this is good, it just doesn't feel single barrel good. Right. I would agree. All right. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's good, but it's not single barrel good. $60. <whistles> yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to say, when you write single barrel on there I'm ex I mean okay first of all with a single barrel you can get some variants I know mm -hmm. that you can I like all the labeling where this is from maybe someone will find hey you know what if you're actually in Rick house number six there's gold this one was seven that could happen <laughs> okay yeah. Rick house number that's seven. our luck too. yeah right we you know, like, oh you got the seven yeah. We got the seven. <laughs> this is the seven. We got the seven. You yeah. wanted you wanted the it's six. It's like nine out of ten bottles right. are out of six. Right. And we get the seven. Yeah, it turns out That's how they we told them. you you got the six, but then they sold it to another guy on the night shift, right, as you showed up to yeah. get it. <laughs> that yeah. may or may not have a basis in fact on yeah. some other bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Oh, what do we know? We got a uh, traveling dummy. I was getting ready to scotch us out of there. It, well, we really didn't. Is it worth it? Is it worth sixty dollars? I, man, it's not bad. It's well, good. The finish really dampens this my enthusiasm for this one. When I first opened it and I took the first sip, blown away. Thought it's really good. It's really rich. Really. But, but then it was gone. Mm -hmm. That finish wasn't there, and that's kind of like, okay, this is younger. I'm, it's. It's good, but it's not real good. There you go. I've hit it. Um, it's not what I expect from a single barrel, knowing <laughs> that there is variances between the barrels. So, who knows? True. For us, this is just a solid, above average okay, which usually a single barrel will rock it up higher than that. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yep. 
Uh, it's uh, 89 on it for me. Okay. So. Traveling and the man. Yep. We are back in Rome. We've been in Rome a lot, my friend. Jason Coates. And Virtually. He was, he was here at our five-year anniversary yes. in Wichita. Bat. Back last October. Oh, that was a good October. We had play uh, impromptu singing and playing on pianos. Now the only way you got one of our coins was, was to a be special here. coin, or well, you had has. to you had to buy a ticket to the event. Right. Some people or bought a ticket and couldn't make it. We've you, we've done a couple of those coins and fundraisers. We did auctions. Well. Yeah, yes. we have done some yeah. auctions. So that, there is a there's a way. And we still have a few. Jason Coates, though, uh, back home now. This is his email. Back home now from a couple weeks in Italy. Missed out on a great day for photos on Capri, mm. unfortunately. And I carted the coin up to the top of Vesuvius, God, but didn't get any pictures there either. Mount Vesuvius. But I did get one, a pretty nice one in Rome in the Pantheon. Love the Pantheon. Original temple. So there's the picture looking up towards the sky, sun dome. I like it. Sunlight. I've never been in there, never seen the inside there. I didn't know it was domed open. Like and I said, Bart, I, I, I said, I thought we had somebody take a picture at Notre Dame. Bart I, doesn't I remember. Maybe we so. did. I don't think so. With a recent fire. It would have been neat. Would have been neat. Would have been neat. I got to tell you that we've got to get to Rome because I want to stay it in the Colosseum, though. You want to stay in there. You can't stand, stay in there. Stand in there. You can stay in there. You're too tall. There. You can't even fit through the arches. Oh, It'd be fit. like, you know, go. <laughs> What are we in Korea now? I've been in Korea. No. That's how that was done. You know, go. <laughs> hey, there was, I felt horrible in Korea. There were two tall instances. I was in Seoul airport. They built this giant ramp up for the metal detector. It must not have been working for maybe shorter statured people. So when I'm getting there, the top of this metal detector was going to hit me in the head, and I had to like stoop and come through. It was the most bizarre metal detector. Huh. Then I'm just standing against the wall. I was military at the time, and uh, Korean children are extremely well. Koreans in general are extremely polite. These little like three and four year olds, I'm freakishly tall, were pointing and saying stuff in Korean, and the moms were beating them darn near illegally. I mean, like clap, clap, grabbing ears. I finally sat down on the floor because I was such a freak they couldn't help but point at me. And apparently, mm. apparently that was extremely offensive. Sorry, Korean story went in. Yeah, you're editing six this foot, one. You may cut it. Six foot six, white guy. Oh yeah, yeah, standing there in the corner, and you know, you know. Um, Gaijin. That's Japanese. <laughs> Scotch it. You scotch gods. Solange. Dummies. Dummies.